Maybe you've heard my voice already, maybe you haven't. So I'll go over it one more time. Is this the year of digital Armageddon? Computers, they make our lives fun and make work more profitable. But there's a dark side. The network computer systems that we take for granted are starting to run every aspect of society, but they are wide open to attack. Governments, corporations, you, me, the whole world can be brought to its knees with a few malicious keystrokes. By fraudsters, by hackers, by terrorists. What the experts are saying is truly terrifying. So here's the next of the seven deadly sins that are leading us towards digital Armageddon. It can start small. Identity theft, unsecured wireless networks, but if you're a terrorist, the targets you're after are much bigger. Large machines are controlled by small machines or computers. Devices that used to be run by human interface have been replaced by a machine interface. The switches, the control valves, the opening and closing was a manual process. No one's turning the dial. They're pressing a button, a computer's logging in and telling that valve what to do. Somewhere between this system and the base, there's a long wire running. A creative enough hacker could, I try to identify the wire, get to a close enough point where as they fish through the wires eventually, they'll start proliferating data. There have already been successful attempts to gain access to SCADA networks and take control. The first well-known example that took place in America was in 2003 by a 19-year-old kid who shut down the port of Houston temporarily by hacking their SCADA servers. It's also well-known that Al-Qaeda, in their manuals, want to use SCADA to create attacks and that's in what's been made public. We can only wonder what they've described in the non-public sections. These large companies with their private networks have allowed the introduction of the greatest vulnerability, laptops. And these laptops run on wireless networks as well as the company network. In comes an employee with their laptop. They're logged on to their system at the same time that laptop hits an outside network. We've created a hole between the outside world and this private network. Turn off those ports that open you out to the outside, just in case. Generally, the, the hackers that have fun tend to shut down the FBI and other fun places. They have yet to decide to bring down a nuclear power plant. Perhaps they know that the consequences could be deadly. But cyber terrorists and people that hate our way of life would definitely love to disrupt our way of life through these means. Systems hijacking. It's a sin, but it's only one of seven. There are six others that we put together, and if you believe that forewarned is forearmed, go find them.